Hey guys, this is your RCU and to review the Li Pin Leg Leg Star Wars uh, First Order Heavy Scout Walker. And yeah, so this is the box uh, right here. And you can see it's uh, recommended for your 6 and up and comes with 620 pieces. And this is set 05126. Uh, and it comes with uh, 4 mi minifigs, uh, which are the Resistance Trooper, the First Order Gunner, uh, the General Hux, and also the First Order Flame Trooper. And yeah, uh, so this is the top of the box here, and yeah, uh, it just shows you the uh, all the figures, and also does have a carrying ha carrying handle, and yeah, uh, so this is the side. Uh, just shows you the you know some pretty basic stuff, and the other side uh, shows you half of the walker, and this is the bottom. Uh, just shows you some warning and, and finally this is the back uh, shows you all of the features and Yeah, but aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so inside the box uh, does come with a uh, a tray here. So this is the instruction manual right here, and yeah, uh, it's uh, just a very basic instruction manual. It does have a uh, number of bags, and yeah, uh, this is the final page, and this is the back. shows you shows you the exact same thing in the box. These are all of the extra pieces here, and yeah, so uh, the the like the real extra pieces are only these and yeah this one is one that they include and yeah just a lot of uh, technic pieces and just one towel and one hand and yeah the this one the outside ones uh, you got uh, all these connectors and this third type of thing and also this extra hand but aside from that uh, that's pretty much it so first off of figures uh, this is the resistance trooper and yeah uh, so uh, she has the this helmet right here, and yeah, this helmet is supposed to have the uh, yellow visor uh, on here, and yeah, but they didn't include that. That that kind of sucks. And but, um, yeah, uh, let's just remove the helmet, and you yeah, see you got uh, her face, and she's armed with uh, this blaster rifle thingy, and yeah, so. Uh, she has the strap on her tors torso, and you got some of these uh, pouches, and you got the the belt with some, um, I guess, um, kind of comms, I guess, I'm not sure. Uh, and the leg print thing is uh, also very, just very simple. And the back does have her alternate expression. Uh, yeah, not sure uh, which figure this came from. Looks like a Princess Leia though, but yeah, uh, she has this hoodie type thing, and you got the strap, and you got the belt. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Resistance Trooper. The second figure is the First Order Gunner, or the crew member, I guess, but yeah, uh, so he's armed with uh, the blaster pistol, and yeah, uh, this is a very common figure, but um, you know, uh, the helmet here is, uh, you know, a very common mode, uh, and yeah, uh, the the torso, uh, you just have some very simple printing with all the linings and the back. Uh, it's it's um, you know all the continu continuation and yeah uh, under there it's not angry clone it's this uh, kind of common face and yeah uh, the printing is very thick um, from the official Lego one so that kind of sucks but um, yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the gunner so this is a uh, general Hux and yeah he's armed with uh, the blaster pistol and you got uh, his um, hairpiece uh, he doesn't have uh, his helmet like in the force awakens sets but um, yeah uh, so let's just remove uh, his hairpiece and yeah you can see uh, you got his kind of annoyed expression and uh, the torso you have uh, the the coat with uh, the belt and yeah uh, you, you just have all the suit and stuff and yeah the light print thing uh, the white color for the all the light print things uh, yeah they are different from the torso so yeah it just makes the figure look very weird and yeah the the printing is also a little bit more uh, more thicker and yeah no alternate, alternate expression but yeah the back um, you know you got some uh, pretty nice detailing right there with some linings but um, yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for general hugs Last but not least, this is the First Order uh, Flame Trooper, and 
uh, yeah, so he has uh, the flame crower right here uh, with the attachment uh, at the front with the fire. And yeah, this one is a very long, long piece. And yeah, but um, the flame crower at least uh, leaping didn't screw, screw it up as much. But um, yeah, uh, the helmet here, uh, I believe it's uh, uh, the exact same except for the front uh, two parts. Uh, these kind of breathing stuff, I guess, and yeah, they are kind of creepy, I guess, but yeah, um, I'm not sure how to explain it, but yeah, they kind of poke out, and yeah, that's kind of weird, but um, you know, it still looks fine, and yeah, under there, you got the angry clone, and yeah, the printing is just way too thick, and also way too dark, and yeah, uh, the torso, you got uh, all the armor and stuff, and you got this, um, this kind of thing, not sure what it's supposed to be, and yeah, the leg printing is also very detailed, and yeah, it does look great. And uh, he does also have uh, this backpack, uh, which uh, I guess stores the fuel for the flamethrower. And yeah, the back um, you also have some very nice printing. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, the first order of flamethrower. So this is the build itself here, and yeah, so let's start off with the legs. So uh, the legs here, uh, they do work uh, pretty well, I guess, but um, yeah, they are, uh, they, they used uh, four of these uh, wheel pieces to help this thing move, and yeah, the legs, they kind of crawl, and you know, um, they kind of, they kind of suck the mechanism, it's kind of boring, but um, you know, it still looks cool, but if you go uh, really quickly, then it, it will just look really weird. It looks like a spider, I guess, but yeah, um, and yeah, so here you got this uh, paneling thingy to uh, thingy to cover up all the mechanism, but yeah, the mechanism isn't really quite cover up uh, well, but yeah, uh, the inside the core there, uh, you got some um, red pieces, red bricks. Uh, translucent red bricks and yeah um, you know uh, there are just some pieces here to make this thing look uh, more bulkier and yeah the legs uh, all the design they are just uh, very simple and yeah uh, so uh, the head here you can see uh, does have two of these uh, cannons which are hinged uh, on there and you got the long one and you got the shorter one and yeah you can kind of move it around you know kind of aim it at the top uh, to aim at uh, stuff, stuff like this I guess but yeah um, uh, you got this uh, cover piece uh, you know to I guess make the design and yeah the cockpit the windscreen of it uh, is in red and you can't quite see it but yeah it, it is there so uh, the sides here you also got uh, the spring loaded uh, shooter and yeah uh, it does work uh, very nicely just like the offshore lego one it's just that the tip of it just pops up a little bit more than the offshore lego one and yeah that's because of this piece uh, this thing here not sure why it's there but yeah, uh, it does work uh, very nicely, you can just put it in and yeah, it does fire pretty nicely and you can kind of turn this around 360 degrees and it does have this uh, lightsaber hilt which I guess is the aiming for this thing and yeah, it does also have some uh, very nice uh, paneling with uh, gray and silver and yeah, it's uh, definitely great and yeah, uh, it's on both sides as well, uh, both, both of them are the same so uh, the back you got you got uh, two of these alien conquest pistols uh, they are there I believe for design it does have these uh, very interesting pieces here you know uh, they they make uh, quite a nice design here so that's definitely cool uh, does also have uh, two clips and you can clip on the extra spring loaded missile and also uh, one of the pilot's uh, uh, blaster pistols and yeah so inside the cockpit you got this opening hatch you got this handle here so you can just open it up and inside uh, you do have this piece which is a stopper for the hatch from uh, going too far and uh, does have these uh, round pieces on the side which they are kind of annoying because um, the figures, they are, uh, the hand of the figure you can't, um, you know, uh, the figure can't uh, move a lot, so that kind of sucks, but yeah, it does have the uh, printed uh, console piece, 
and it's a very common piece and the figure sits in the uh, uh, just sit without any studs. They sit in this um, modified piece with their uh, legs, I guess. But yeah, you can just sit a figure inside. But yeah, it does also have a passenger uh, passenger compartment. Uh, you know, you can put two figures inside. So that's definitely cool. But um, yeah, and lastly, uh, the head of this cannot be. Uh, cannot be angled because the there's a stopper right there so yeah it's that uh it's the hinge piece the ratchet piece and yeah if you want uh the head to move around you have to remove that piece but yeah I just put it on so that uh, I can show you but um yeah uh but aside from that uh that's pretty much it for the build. So overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it? Um well, the figures, I think um, the printing for them, they just suck a lot, uh, especially for General Hux and also the uh, Gunner, first order Gunner, and yeah, like the printing of it, um, yeah, it's, it's just um, the color and uh, the thickness, uh, yeah, it's just really, uh, really terrible. I mean, uh, General Hux uh, torso, his, his torso is fine, but yeah, the light printing, they just suck a lot. So yeah, but the the face print thing, um, yeah, it's also kind of bad. But yeah, um, and the uh, the resistance crouper, I think the torso printing and the leg printing, they are fine. It's just that uh, they didn't include the 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 visor piece uh, for the resistance uh, crouper. At least they could have included a, a separate piece. Uh, that would have been nice, or they could have printed on onto the face. But um, yeah, they didn't do any of those stuff, so that's also very bad. And the Flame Grouper is pretty much the best figure in the entire set because he he just has one flaw, which is the the face printing. Uh, yeah, the face printing it just looks uh, really terrible. The printing is just not really nice. And the build itself, I think the build is um, fine, but. Yeah, it's just that um, the original build is just um, yeah, no, uh, not many people like uh, likes the design, and yeah, I'm not sure about the the set, but yeah, the legs they work fine. Um, yeah, they are alright. They are not the best, but yeah, still fine. Uh, the spring loaded shooter, I think it's um, it's great. Uh, it's great that uh, they work, and yeah, the build is fine, but. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can recommend this set or not because the figures uh, for the Leap in Last Jedi sets, they just, the quality of the printing is just really terrible. But yeah, I mean, if you want to collect all the Last Jedi sets, then yeah, I recommend you getting the Leap in ones to save some money. But um, yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, if you want to buy the set, I'll put but I'll put the buy link down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.